Good morning, Santa Teresa. Today is Monday, September 21st, and these are your brand spanking new morning announcements. I'm Matt Payton. And I'm Trevor Hook. How's it going today, Matt? Just fine. Are you excited? For what? This! This whole morning announcement thing. Yeah, this is sick. Okay, negative Nancy. Fill our listeners into the details about the broadcast. Well, unless you've been listening to us online, this is probably the first time you've heard Trevor and myself on the speakers. You're welcome. Right. Normally this broadcast will be played on those TV sets, but for the first grading period, all you're going to do is hear us. But when the second grading period starts, we'll be sitting on the TV. Right, but until then, you'll just be hearing us. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Exactly. Well, let's kick this off. What's on the agenda for today? Well, first we've got the week's weather, followed by your election results, your daily bulletin, and an ad for the yearbook. And then we've got some info on Film Club. Would you like to start off, Trevor? Gladly. This week's weather will be sunny all week in the high 80s. Might even break 90 once or twice. Be sure to dress appropriate. Everyone, now that the elections are finally over, we have the official results. No more runoffs, just the real officers. Right, so here they are. For freshman president, we have Camille Venacio. Vice president is Michael Montes. Freshman secretary is Kelly Melton. The new freshman treasurer is Sandra True. And your new freshman publicist is Jasmine Green. The sophomores finally have Marvin Ramirez as their new treasurer. And last but not least, Nicole McKinney is our new commissioner of academics. Congratulations to all of our winners. Now we're going to take a break to listen to what the yearbook has to say. The time has come. Another year towards the end of your life. Your future. Your career. It's all moving forward in time. So grab a hold of what will soon be your past. Get your yearbooks for $80 at the bank before October 1st. Time is running out. If you fail to comply, prices will be raised and you will be forced to order the yearbook online. While buying your yearbook, be sure to drop by the bank and pick up a picture packet for Makeup Picture Day. Makeup Picture Day is October 2nd. Everyone, don't forget to buy tickets for Back to School Night. Back to School Night is September 24th. Tickets will be from 6.30 to 8.30. Everyone that buys a ticket from now until September 24th will be entered in a drawing to get their ticket for free. Seniors, don't forget to buy your grad night tickets. Tickets are available anytime at the school bank. Make your checks payable to ST Grad Night. Tickets are $125 until January 14th. Price goes up on, up to $140 on January 15th. So be sure to grab your tickets fast. On the clubs. Film Club is meeting on Wednesday to show the spook who sat by the door. Chaz Hill was able to catch up with Dr. Lemko and ask him about Film Club and the featured movie. Thanks Trevor, I'm here with our very own Dr. Lemko. Now Dr. Lemko, why did you decide to start this club? I wanted to create a club that would devote itself to film, great films, art films, foreign films, try to expose students to a kind of diversity of the wonderful culture of cinema from all over the world in all time periods. And at the same time, I would try to avoid controversy, meaning I would just pick films that were PG and lower in their rating, but still had a kind of appeal that young people would find fascinating, especially if they're students of film, or just love visual imagination. I see a very good answer. Um, Dr. Lemko, this Wednesday you're playing a movie uh, called The Spook That Sat By The Door. Right. The Spook Who Sat By The Door is a 1973 film made by Ivan Dixon. This film has been kind of, I wouldn't say blacklisted exactly, but has been systematically ignored by television, by commercial re reissue. Uh, it has kind of a reputation, not because it's so brilliantly made, it's technical a aspects, but rather as a political statement. Ivan, the director, came from Hogan's Heroes and a very fine film called Nothing But a Man. And Ivan was kind of angry. He, he, he represented a kind of black anger. And he wanted to create a movie based on this novel, which was a parody of the American so-called system, where they hire a black man, the, the spook, if you will, which is a derogatory term for black person. And he sits by the door of the CIA because the first person you see when you walk in is the black man. So you say, oh, look at that. They hire minorities. They hire people of color. That, I guess that means they're real liberal and progressive. When in fact, he's merely a token spook, meaning a spy. And so what this main character does is he takes the CIA training and starts to recruit other young black people who are going to try to overthrow some of the system. So he's creating a kind of revolution from within, playing a kind of double cross on the very people who are trying to use him to show how legitimate they are and how politically correct they are. Okay, Dr. Lemko, thank you for your time. Trevor, back to you. Well, that's all we have. And that's all you're going to get. These were your morning announcements. Have a fantastic day, Santa Teresa.